Hi, this is Ian Stewart from Flowtown Mastering. In this second video of our WaveLab 30th anniversary series, I'll be showing you some core components of a complete workflow for mastering audio, specifically for streaming platforms. We'll explore six powerful features that make WaveLab the perfect tool for modern digital delivery. Let's dive in. Starting a new mastering project efficiently is crucial to not only maintain consistency across your work, but also to aid in the fast-paced working environment of modern mastering engineers. WaveLab's project and montage templates allow you to rapidly set up sessions in a modular way with all your preferred settings already in place. You can create templates that include your favorite track layouts, reference tracks, plugins already loaded with starting presets, custom meters, metadata, and album wizard starting points, and even specific render settings tailored to streaming deliverables. To create a template, simply set up a montage exactly how you like it, and then save it as a template in the File New Templates window. Of course, you can create multiple templates for different project types, singles, full albums, different sample rates, etc. When starting a new project, you'll find your templates in the Startup Assistant or via File New, which makes beginning a new mastering session incredibly fast and ensures you always have your preferred workflow and tools right at your fingertips, regardless of the project type. Once you have your project set up, it's usually necessary to gain stage your imported audio. WaveLab's Meta Normalizer is a unique feature that can intelligently optimize your audio levels in preparation for processing, allowing you to make better decisions more quickly. You can access it from the Process tab in the Audio Montage. Unlike basic normalizers, the Meta Normalizer gives you multiple intelligent ways to level match an entire album or optimize individual tracks. For streaming preparation, you can have it analyze all your clips and set them to a consistent level, creating an ideal starting point for your listening and processing goals. You can make normalization true peak aware, ensuring sufficient headroom, or even use unique methods like top of loudness range, a personal favorite. You can also set the loudest clip to a specific loudness target and have all other clips maintain their relative offset. This is great for things like alternate mixes where you may want to normalize the main mix and have acapellas, instrumental, TV mixes, etc. follow the level adjustment. Another meta feature that's as relevant today as ever is metadata management. WaveLab makes this seamless and streamlined with its centralized approach. You'll find the metadata tool window available at the top of the montage and audio editor layouts. WaveLab supports all major metadata formats, including ID3, V1 and 2, BWF, AXML, and many more, and can use special variables, which can be saved into templates, to auto-populate the metadata fields. This allows you to enter information once, typically in the album metadata editor, and have it pushed to all delivery formats. For streaming masters, you'll want to pay special attention to the basic fields like title, artist, album, year, and genre, but don't overlook additional fields like engineer, or in particular, ISRCs, which are crucial for proper tracking and royalty payments. Sometimes ISRCs aren't available until artists start the upload process for streaming, but when they are, it's nice and really simple to add them to your deliverables. Then, when you render your final masters, WaveLab automatically embeds all this metadata into your files, ensuring your client's content is properly identified wherever they send it. The flip side of the coin is that some aggregators don't want any metadata in the files, and here again, WaveLab makes it super easy to strip out all metadata in a batched process. When mastering for streaming, or really any other format, it's often necessary to make precise comparisons between different versions of songs. WaveLab's Align Clips feature ensures sample accurate alignment for perfect A-B comparisons. To use this feature, simply get your clips roughly positioned, select a time range in the clip you want to align to, select the clip you want to move, and then select Align Clips from the function menu in the Clips tool window. In the dialog, choose Audio Correlation, which uses advanced algorithms to precisely time align your clips based on their audio content, even when there are differences in things like tone and level, and click Apply. Of course, consistency and balance are also key in mastering, and WaveLab's ability to replicate plugin settings across multiple clips can save tremendous amounts of time when working to achieve a cohesive sound. For example, say you've created a chain for the main mix of a specific song and copied it to the instrumental and TV mixes, but then your client comes back and asks, hey, can we make the song just a little bit wider and brighter? All we have to do is select the plugin we want to change in the inspector, update the settings, click Replicate Settings, and then choose which clips should receive the updated settings. 
This feature is particularly powerful when working with a song that you've split into verse, chorus, etc. to apply different processing to each, but need to maintain consistency between like sections. Replicate settings allows you to quickly and accurately push any processing changes made in one chorus, for example, to all other choruses in just a few clicks. Moreover, WaveLab remembers your selections, so if you make further adjustments, the following updates get even quicker. Lastly, perhaps the most crucial aspect of mastering is making objective comparisons. And not much can make a comparison as objective as loudness match AB listening. You can find this feature in both the output inspector and the track header of reference tracks. With just one click, WaveLab will automatically match the loudness between your mastered audio and reference tracks or vice versa, effectively eliminating the louder is better bias to which none of us are immune. When mastering for streaming, this is especially important. The data shows us that something like 85% of listeners leave loudness normalization on and at the default level. And while that certainly doesn't mean that we should be mastering to negative 14 LUFS or any other target, it does mean that listening to your music in a loudness agnostic way is crucial. If high level and density give you the sound you want, then that's your call. But the best way to figure that out is still to do a level match comparison with your source mix. You can set any reference track or the montage output as the target level and even monitor the gain offsets being applied, useful if you want to apply an inverse offset to your monitor gain. Combined with the output filtering system, you can make hyper-focused comparisons of specific frequency ranges at matched loudness levels. This ensures that your processing decisions are based on actual improvements to the sound rather than simply level increases, or at the very least that level increases aren't doing any harm, resulting in masters that translate better across all streaming platforms. And there you have it, six of the key features for a complete WaveLab workflow when mastering audio specifically for streaming platforms. These powerful features truly work together to help you create masters that sound cohesive and translate across all streaming services. If this was helpful, please give the video a like and don't forget to check out the other videos in this 30th anniversary series where we'll explore more of WaveLab's powerful mastering toolkit. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.